Thanks for joining us at XM.com for the Daily Market Comment. I'm Mario Sechigiriakos. I'm Cristina Marujos. The world's most traded currency paired continued its epic downfall yesterday, touching a low last seen in 2017 after a batch of weak industrial production numbers poured cold water on the hopeful narrative that the Eurozone economy is steadily recovering. The quality of incoming European data has been dreadful, with growth barely positive in quarter four, especially in the battered manufacturing sector, while American economic numbers remained solid overall. With substantial interest rate differentials between the two economies as well, there's a strong carry trade in favor of the dollar taking place, as sub-zero rates in the eurozone incentivize investors to use the euro as a funding currency. For this negative euro-dollar narrative to turn around, either the Fed has to cut rates more aggressively, or European governments, especially Germany, need to announce a big spending package, neither of which looks likely anytime soon. Risk aversion made a comeback after the latest virus numbers showed a sharp spike in both infections and deaths in China's Hubei province. The yen is back in vogue, Asian stocks were a sea of red, and Wall Street futures are pointing to an open that would wipe out most of yesterday's gains. Yet there is no sign of panic among investors, in the sense that these moves have been orderly and relatively modest in size so far. This tranquility stems from the fact that most of the increase in new cases is owed to a change in methodology for counting infections in Hubei, not some dramatic acceleration in the spread of the virus. However, caution lingers because this could simply mean that officials were merely understating the real numbers of cases in recent weeks, casting doubt on containment hopes. Attesting to this caution, Euro franc touched the low last seen in 2015 today, partly due to a collapsing euro and partly due to traders hedging some risk exposure after a strong run for stock markets. This was today's Daily Market Comment at XM.com.